NJCAA uh, Division I Men's Golf National Tournament coming to a close up in Newton. One of the 24 teams vying for the title, the Hutchinson Blue Dragons. So I want to bring in KSN's Jason Lamb now. Jason, uh, Hutch was hoping to three-peat this year, but the cards not in their favor. Yeah, the Blue Dragons are the reigning back-to-back -back JUCO National Champions, and they had their sights set on making it three in a row right here in their own backyard, but they fell behind early in this four-day tournament. They simply haven't been able to catch up. The signature caboose welcomes the best junior college golfers to Sand Creek Station in Newton for the Division I National Championship. Hutchinson Community College has won this tournament the last two years down in Texas. It's nice to be able to have it here in, in the backyard and don't have to travel as far, but it's exciting to see the boys uh, do well during the season and have the opportunity to compete here. Steve Saffel and his family are driving an hour from Wellington to watch his son. Please welcome Blake Saffel. A sophomore and a JUCO All-American for the Blue Dragons. Blake Saffel led Wellington to the Class 4A state title in 2021 and was a member of Hutchinson's national championship team a year ago. He's uh, proud to be on this team, you know, as competitive as, uh, as it is, uh, you know, the team pushes him, makes him better, and just uh, being part of a team that has the, uh, the chance to be able to compete at these higher tournaments, so yeah. The Blue Dragons have an international flavor with four of their top five golfers hailing from South Africa. Ireland, Sweden, and England. We've really pride ourselves on just trying to get the most elite golfers from anywhere in the country. Heck, we have Blake Saffel from Wellington, Kansas, who finished fourth in the country. The more success you have, the more of those that from around the world uh, seek you out. And so Chris Young, being the veteran coach that he is, he's had an opportunity to um, be in contact with the, the coaches of those student athletes and, and to get them to come to Hutchinson. I feel like we're a really, really close group even though like we're all from like they're all from different countries and I'm the only guy on the team here from America but I feel like that doesn't really change anything. Gooch admits it's nice to have at least one Kansan in the team's top five. I'm a Wellington Kansas native so it's nice to see somebody from my hometown uh, have the success he's had. An unbelievable young man um, does a great job on our campus being an ambassador. Sapple says his teammates do lean on him a little bit but he doesn't seem to mind. They ask a lot of questions in the car because I have to give them rides everywhere they go. So if, if they have a question to ask me, it's usually in the car, me taking them somewhere. The one thing the boys all have in common is their love of golf. It's been our goal all year. I mean, every tournament has been important to us, but this is the most important one. Now, Indian Hills Community College is running away with the team title. They will end Hutch's two-year run as national champions. The best the Blue Dragons can finish is fifth out of 24 teams, which isn't all that bad at all, Jeff.